should I consider a Roth or a Roth IRA conversion when the market's trending downwards or in a down market? Yeah. I mean, first you have to figure out whether you should do a Roth conversion. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of criteria. We've talked about that quite a bit. Uh, in my opinion, I have to have the money to pay the taxes with some other asset, right? So that's a, that's actually a really big one. So if I convert a hundred thousand dollars worth of Roth and it creates twenty thousand in tax or thirty thousand in tax or whatever, I have to have that money in some other vehicle, usually a non IRA type vehicle, to then to kind of pay. So not everybody has that. So let's just say you can do it. So that's the first question. Then the second thing is, uh, should you be doing it more in a down market? My answer is yes. Uh, with one with one criteria with one uh, piece uh, caveat so first of all when the market drops let's say there's two different scenarios one is i have a retirement account and i want to convert all of it so it was a hundred thousand and now it is eighty five thousand let's just say right um wow i'm going to convert that whole thing and pay taxes on eighty five thousand instead of what was a hundred that makes sense. Now there's some timing involved. Maybe it would even drop to 80. <laughs> so, uh, but nonetheless, there's when you're converting an entire account over, then you know that makes a lot of sense. Um, most of the times, though, the accounts that we're looking at are really big, uh, and we're not doing all of it, and we're basically moving a portion of it. And oftentimes, what we're trying to do there is fill a tax bracket bucket. So and this is where it gets more complicated, but so let's just say somebody wants to make sure that they stay under, under the 24% tax bracket, which is around 330,000-ish right now for a couple. And they already have $200,000 worth of income from all these other sources. That means they could convert to 130,000, right? Uh, over and still stay in that 24% bracket. I'm simplifying this drastically, but that's the idea. And so then what happens is, uh, you kind of need to know what incomes you have. If you're going to push up against the edge of the tax bracket, you need to know all of your incomes that you had for that year, which you usually don't know till the end of the year. So we do an awful lot of Roth conversions in December uh, just for that specific purpose. Um, but if I felt pretty confident that I might be moving $130,000, you know, by the end of the year, I might do 50 now because the market's down. And what the advantage of doing 50 now is that I can move uh, more shares. So let's just say I have a 300,000 in Apple, right? That is now shrunk down to 270 or something. And uh, I can move more shares to equal $50,000 now than when it was worth 300,000, right? Because more dollars per share. And uh, and then, you know, I'm able to then, if that grows back to, to the equivalent of what it would have been if it, when it was at $300,000, um, I have, you know, some nice growth that was tax-free. Uh, so uh, again, down markets, you can transfer more shares for the same dollar amount. Or if you got an entire movement of an entire IRA over, it's worth less than it was, is less tax. So yeah, I think that's something to definitely look at uh, in this particular arena. I, I like taking advantage. You know, the market's gonna go down. It just is. I mean, it doesn't, it seems like it's been going up constantly, which it basically has, um, but that's not how it normally works. Um, and so what can you do to take advantage of it? I think this opportunistic rebalancing that we're working on, I think looking at Roth conversions is another way to take advantage of a downturn. Uh, and yeah, certainly be looking at that. So that's a, that's a really good question.